canola. That is all that we have left. We have all three uh, semis out here in the field. Not because it's bushling uh, 50, it's going probably 20, but because I am going to go spray um, the rest of the standing canola this afternoon into this evening uh, with Reglone. So we're going to have all three trucks here and that way we can fill these trucks uh, while I am gone. So this is the standing canola. It is nice and crispy dry. It is the perfect uh, harvest day today. Not a lot of wind. Nice bluebird day. It's good for uh, both combining and spraying a little bit later. There's a nice dry down all the way throughout the plant, right to the, almost right to the ground, so we can uh, clip this off. And uh, yeah, I think it's doing a pretty good job. Allowing the canola to stand uh, allows the plant to fully mature. You might get a little, little bit bigger seed, more seed weight, and therefore more yield. At least that's what the seed companies tell us. Okay, first load, going home. Canola is going in these Darmani flat bottom bins. These are 10,000 bushels with aeration. We can combine all day and this should all fit in here. Yeah, the canola is plenty dry, 7.6. It is dry at 10. Next thing we can do is roll it. We're looking for all yellow seeds. You're allowed a couple green ones, but usually they don't want them green, but these look pretty good. They're all yellow. That load tested seven and a half. We yeah, got super dry here. Okay, I'm going to get the sprayer and stuff ready. Okay. So these guys should be good here for the day. Todd's in that combine, Taylor's in the grain cart, and Ronnie is in that combine. Those two trucks are empty. Well, that one's empty too, so they're good. New batteries here in the Black Stallion. Just have to touch the key and the thing takes right off. So over the last couple of weeks, we've had some rain and uh, the wheat that we thought we'd get away from desiccating started getting green underneath. We had to go in and spray that and then combine it. And now the same thing is starting to happen to the canola. Canola has started to grow again from underneath and is actually flowering. This is not good. We do not want that. This is what it's supposed to look like. No leaves on the bottom, no vegetation just these pods and we come and combine this but a lot of the patches within the fields look like this this is not good what happens is if this green material is combined and goes in the bin the canola will heat and it'll spoil it won't last a day so we cannot have any of this green material combined so there's a couple options that we uh, thought over one was why don't you just combine higher? Why don't you just cut higher? It is green almost right to the top. So even if you cut higher and kind of just snip off these pods, you're still gonna get green material. And we've tried that and it didn't work. Well, why don't you just swath it? You swath it down in uh, two weeks. If the wind doesn't get it, you can pick up those swaths and that green material will dry down. You could do that, but if you did, the green material will just keep growing and it'll grow through those swaths and then you won't be able to pick those up. Well, I guess you could spray it with high water volume with a true desiccant and hopefully it'll dry down those leaves enough that then you could combine it. And I think that's the route we're gonna take. 
we're gonna spray a Reglone and it's gonna it's a contact herbicide so it's not systemic it's not gonna dry down those leaves internally more externally and uh, hopefully within at least a week there'll be no more of these this uh, green material and we can store it in the bin and hopefully combine this field so I think that's what we're gonna do So we're spraying a high amount of water because we want good coverage into this canopy which will uh, kill off all this green undergrowth. So with a large amount of water, you won't be able to do as many acres per tank. So I'm going to do about 80 acres per tank with this row gear. That is a lot of water coming out of there. And it's not any more chemical, it's just more water trying to have good coverage in that canopy. actually works best under low light conditions meaning when it's cloudy or into the evening so hopefully I'll keep spraying here until dark that way the uh, chemical is metabolized by the plant a little bit better rather than it being hot out so today the chemical will make its way into the plant and then tomorrow it's supposed to be 27 degrees out and that way it will start to dry down at least that's the plan I hope it works uh, it has to work because I don't know what else we'd do unless we want to swath it all um, eventually too. Like, like look at these patches. Isn't that awful? Just these uh, little sand ridge there, all these little poor areas that it's starting to really regrow bad. That's crazy. Never seen anything like it. I'm out of water. Hey. 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 So the sprayer trailer holds over 6,000 US gallons, which is good for four sprayer tanks. Oh, 
back here at the original site this morning and these guys chewed a lot of acres today.